Hello Aquarius and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. Um, I'm checking into your love life Aquarius. Let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Yin. I feel like you guys are having a relaxing weekend here. I feel like um, you're also like getting some ideas in your head about um, what to do next, right? Where to go next. Some of these ideas are coming through in your sleep state. Look, um, yeah, so pay close attention to your dreams, right? I feel like the divine is um, putting the pieces together for you. This is what a lot of you are going into this new cycle still with no clarity. Like um, your masculine has hasn't come forward yet to give you any kind of clarity. All the all the missing pieces are falling into place for you right now. That's really what I'm I'm feeling, and I, I feel like so far you've put in all of this effort, right? Block by block, leveling up in your life. That's what you're doing. Little level by level. Pass each one of these blocks, these levels, is a test that you've passed, a lesson you've learned, right? But I feel like there's still some pieces missing. And you're getting those pieces put into place here. Um, like I said, pay close attention to your dreams right now. Some of you also could, uh, could use a nap. You've been doing all of this work. So maybe this is kind of like a little rest time for you. I've been noticing that myself. Like, usually I put out my collective readings at like 8 in the morning, 7 in the morning. And this weekend it seems like, I'm like, you know what, I'll just put them out at noon. It's okay, I'm getting some extra rest at night, right? Taking a nap, doing some um, manifesting. All of this is kind of, you know, there's a lot of energy you're putting into something here. I feel like um, also you're doing some planning in the future, right? Planning for your future, but yeah, mentally putting those blocks into place. What is it that you want? What steps do you have to take to get there, right? Um, but whatever you manifest right now, Divine Feminine, dream big. Dream big, okay? I've been noticing that even the littlest things that I want that I'm thinking about, like, Okay, so um, I, I went on a, a little trip this last week at the end of the week, right, um, to go to my favorite town in the world. All right, and I'm not going to tell you where that is because uh, I plan on moving there, all right? So I went on a little trip, and, um, and I, that night I was laying in, in my hotel room, right, um, going through Amazon looking for winter boots and I'm like, oh, I really like these Sorrells, you know, oh, I really like like these ones, you know, um, and there were two of them that I really wanted, but I didn't order them because like I didn't know if they were going to be comfortable, whatever. I went shopping the next day, right? Now, I went into a store that I'd never been in before and as soon as I walk in the door, those same pair of boots are right on a display right in front of the door, okay? Those little things, like whatever you're really concentrating on, these little things are coming to you like almost immediately. Um, it's part of your manifestation power, right? Because you're putting a lot of thought into everything right now. Um, a lot of energy, even when you're sleeping in, in a dream state, okay? A lot of planning here, ideas with the yin, right? Um, and I feel like you're going to start to see those little things that you're concentrating on being put right in front of you. I kid you not. I kid you not. So dream big. Dream big. If you think, like... Um, if you want a car, you know, don't settle. Tell the universe that you want a specific car. You know what I mean? And I feel like, yeah, some of you are manifesting a move or a new home. Some of you could be building a new home, okay? But dream big, okay? Dream big. Uh, and don't settle, right? Don't settle. Some of you could be... Um, 
just wanting to spend time at home. You know, there's no place like home, right? Um, maybe you're trying to figure out where is home for you? What kind of house do you want to build? This is all a lot of thought. A lot of thought. Um, and you're in manifestation stage. So go after exactly what you want. Think about exactly what you want, right? Um, yeah, I feel like some of you are... This is communicating. Like some of you could be being called to move and you're like, why? Well, it's because um, the divine wants lift off now. They want lift off. It's, it's time. It's time for you to be taken away to your land of milk and honey. Um, so, yeah, some of you could be being called to make a location change, something like that. Um, moved somewhere, doing something maybe, you know, even these blocks are different than the others. You're being asked, maybe called to do something different or go somewhere different. And you're like, well, why? Well, what's happening here, right? What is a happening? Um, it's because they're trying to take you to your somewhere over the rainbow. They're trying to, to get you to that land of milk and honey. Okay, um, it's a calling. I feel like you have a calling here, and it's time for liftoff, right? Yeah, Divine Feminine, you got a lot going on. Yeah, they're going to take you to new soulmate connections um, that you can even heal together, okay? Yeah, look, it's time to go. It's time to go, and here you are. Like, which way do I go, I, you know? Which way, right? A fork in the road. Some of you, and that's that questioning why. Well, how do I get there, right? Why are you, why am I being led to move to a new location? Why, 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 why? It's because the divine, it's your time now, divine feminine. It's your time. Now it's your time to succeed. It's your time to get where the divine wants you to be, to be happy, to be abundant, to be fulfilled, to get new soulmate connections, a new friend. Okay? It's time to go and leave some of the old dreams behind and start thinking of the new ones. Right? A lot of thought. New ideas, new manifestations, a new path. Where is it? Here it is. A new path. Okay. Yeah. So watch for your, um, those smaller manifestations, man. Like I said, that, that was a, that was a huge kicker. I've, I'm already getting, um, uh, the goosebumps here and I'm wearing a thick sweater. Um, yeah, the, those boots, those winter boots, as soon as I walked into that store, they were right in front of me. That's the kind of stuff that I'm telling you, you dream it, you put energy into it, you plan it, and I feel like it's coming. But the divine has to line things up for you, and you may be asked to be changing some kind of path, going in a different direction, possibly making a house move so that they can get you there. All right, so somebody here is heartbroken here. Someone's heartbroken. Uh, I, they're angry. Something's happening here. What is this energy? I feel like this is your person's energy. They're finding out some kind of news maybe that's making them very upset. Clarify this Knight of Wands. I'm getting the feeling like they were in a home situation with somebody else, and all of a sudden, it, it just kind of switched to your masculine energy. I feel like um, they're angry because somebody's cheating here in this situation, and I feel like this masculine has just been betrayed. I feel like they feel betrayed here. All of a sudden, they just are like, I want to talk now. <laughs> Yeah, so I feel like you are to kind of keep it moving, Divine Feminine, okay? Yeah, oh, somebody could be pregnant. Oh, this person could be suddenly finding out that somebody here is pregnant. And they're having a hard time with that one. 
I feel like this person was juggling two people or they were juggled. They could be realizing too that, um, or hearing from somebody even, that you're moving forward. It could be you who's pregnant, Divine Feminine. Because some kind of truth is coming out and here all of a sudden a baby comes out. Oh. And this baby doesn't look anything like this person. Somebody had a baby. And they are seeing that um, it's not theirs. It has to be somebody else's. Oh, boy. So they were being juggled um, in a situation. They're watching their money. This was about money, too. I feel like this person's finding out. They were. I feel like they were kind of used as like a, a, a workhorse or something. They're finding out somebody had a baby recently, a karmic individual, I feel, and they're finding out that this baby isn't theirs, that they were cheated on, that they were betrayed. There's a massive secret here. They're looking at their finances. They're probably broke. They know that... Um, yeah, they, I feel like they're looking, and now they want to come and apologize to you after betraying you, sabotaging this connection, divine feminine. Now they're looking at you, they're like, oh crap, I'm so sorry. Yeah, uh, what is this all about? Clarify this five of swords. Somebody's finding out that a baby isn't theirs. They're realizing that they were cheated on. You could be dealing with the Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. I've got Aquarius out here, Scorpio, Leo, Gemini, Pisces. You could be a Gemini, Divine Feminine. Yeah. Uh, now this person, I feel like they want you. Clarify this King of Wands, though. I'm feeling like this could be, yeah, you you have all of this mess completely blocked out. You have you have this person out because they were they were juggling for far too long, in a karmic situation, you know, in a house situ a home situation. Yes, I feel like somebody wants to come towards you and tell you what happened here. They want to tell you how betrayed they are. They want to tell you possibly um, about this pregnancy and what all happened, but, or they're just, they're finding something out and they they could be cutting somebody out like a boss. Clarify this Ace of Swords. I feel like this person is finding out they were taking care of a baby or a pregnant karmic and the baby's not even theirs. That's what I'm getting here. I feel like they want to talk to you, man. But this person has betrayed you. They were mean to you. They could have said harsh things to you. You have this energy blocked out. I feel like they even know after all that they did to you, Divine Feminine, that this apology is lame. Yeah, you're standing in your strength, standing in your boundaries here. You've had integrity, and I feel like this person hasn't. And their life is going down the tubes, man, fast. Fast. The, I feel like this person could have been a father figure um, to a couple other children here. Or this could be the father of your children. Take it how it resonates. I feel like they're thinking about how they how they provided in this uh, karmic situation. There could have been children involved, but they were ripped off here. Um, they could be, you know, realizing just how, why they're so low on their finances right now. This is having a lot of financial struggles. Um, 
like really bad. They could have had to move also because they don't have enough money to pay for rent. They could be looking into their finances to see where all their money went. Yeah, this, this person, they may need some money. They're looking into their money. I feel like money was stolen from the, just, they feel like they were taken, they were duped. Over children here. There's a lot of gossip about this. I feel like this was almost like there were other people involved, like a group of feminines that knew, they knew that these children weren't theirs or this baby wasn't theirs. Okay, they could have gotten themselves committed here, but now they want they don't want to be there anymore. They want to they want to they want to get out of the situation. They're realizing here, look at the it's like they're not saying anything about it just yet. They are angry. They have to try to think their way through this, right? I feel like this person's being kind of strategic. They know who, who knows about this situation. They know who's been working and planning against them. Yeah, but they're getting ready to choose a different path, but I feel like they're being really quiet about that right now. But they realize they were cheated on. They realize that this baby isn't theirs. They're really angry about that. But I feel like right now they're kind of keeping their mouth shut. Yeah, I, the, yeah, divorce is coming because this person was just betrayed. They're getting ready to divorce. And I feel like they're worried about their finances. So they're keeping it on the down low until they can move their money around or figure out, you know, their finances. I feel like this person stands to lose a lot of money. Um, so right now they're being quiet about it. I just feel like the silence from this person, but their plan is to divorce like as soon as possible because they've got, they have 10 swords in their back, 10 swords. And now this person is in a whole lot of regret because see, they turn their back on the true divine feminine here. They turn their back on you for something that went way wrong. There was no love in those cups. It was all about money. It was all about the karmic wanted to keep being provided for, but they were cheating. This baby, I, like I said, I, I saw a baby come out. So I feel like they know this baby isn't theirs. They're mad though. Yeah, they're getting ready to walk. They're walking away and they're looking who they're walking towards. They're coming straight to you. Straight to you, Divine Feminine. And you're moving forward, okay? You're moving forward. You're moving on. You're building those blocks, right? Remember? You're kind of busy right now. <laughs> you're planning your future here. And like I said, for some of you, you could be even moving away, changing a location. You could have already done that. This, this person could uh, be trying to plan some travel towards you. Yeah. They're coming they're coming towards you in a lot of regret, feeling very betrayed, about to get a divorce. They haven't yet though, they're still connected. I feel like though that tower is coming down because uh, they know this this karma cheated on them. They know this baby isn't theirs. Yeah, and the karmic knows this is, see, here's the thing. All of a sudden, your person clams up. They realize that they were cheated on, betrayed. They realize that a baby isn't theirs. And all of a sudden, they start kind of isolating themselves, feeling bad, being angry, not talking. And this karmic knows that something's freaking up. I'm telling you, this is somebody who's very intuitive, uh, could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. They know something's up. They know that this person is acting off. They can feel it. And they are acting off. They don't want to talk. They're so angry right now. It's like 
they don't want to say anything right now because they're seriously planning a divorce, but they need to get their money straightened out. They need to, see, they're all about their money. Once they get their money straightened out, they're going to be taking that leap of faith and they're going to come directly to you. I cannot make this up. <laughs> okay. But for right now, this masculine is keeping it on the down low. They're not talking. They're moping around. They're angry. Um, they're actually inside. This person is kind of fuming over this, right? Um, but they too are putting blocks into place right now, planning a divorce, figuring out the money situation. Yeah. And this karmic, like, they want to talk. They want to communicate, right? Can you just tell me what's wrong? Can you tell me the truth? We Can you just talk to me? This is also somebody who feels very betrayed. I feel like, um, it. I, you know, honestly, I feel like it scares them to lose the person who provided for them. But at the same time, they cheated because they felt cheated. Because your person has been wanting you. It's a mess. I hope you guys are following this because, like, yeah. So they're dealing with a very intuitive karmic um, who did this on purpose, but now they want your person to talk to them and stuff because they can sense that there's, they can sense this person is, like, angry, upset, feeling betrayed, and wanting out. They know. They want to know what the plan is, Okay. And your person just keeps pushing them away. They don't want to talk about it. They do not want to talk about it. They're carrying these burdens alone. They are not talking to this karmic right now about their plans. But they full on plan to come towards you, Divine Feminine. And you're single out here. You're beautiful. Um, you're working on something that's very... Um, successful okay you're you've got a lot of pentacles here the only thing you don't have is the right love offer that's going to take you to the ten of pentacles a commitment okay that's all that you don't have otherwise you have happiness you have your independence you're going solo you're single you're happy building something of your very own whatever it is you're working on it's fantastic and that's how you feel right now and you've stood in your boundaries, you stood in your strength, you have integrity, you're honest, you're high vibing, I mean, you got it going on. And so, you know, this person's coming towards you, they, they want their empress back. They were just betrayed, though, um, by this karmic, big time. But right now they're in preparation mode and they're moving in silence. They're planning very quietly, okay, because they're mad. This person's steaming on the inside. But they're, they're, they're not speaking to this karmic right now and they're not telling this karmic the plan. And this, this karmic knows, they know, they just can feel it. Um, give me one more for Divine Feminine. So get ready because this masculine is about to come forward with a, um, a big old apology, okay? And hope I feel like they're hoping that they can get to you before you leave the scene. And uh, they betrayed you. This is somebody who um, really damaged this connection. What else can you show me for Divine Feminine? Maybe that's it. All right, let's see what they want to say to you, Divine Feminines. What does this person want to say? What do they want to say to the Divine Feminine? Cycles are closing out, Divine Feminine. Um, I feel like you're closing out a cycle with your person and moving forward on your own, very peacefully, quietly. And a cycle is closing out for them too, not in the way that they like, mind you. But um, I feel like this is the Divine helping your person out, 
showing them how how feeble of a foundation they had. Okay, I, this is the lightning bolt of the divine bringing down this tower. Everything is being exposed. So, yeah, cycles are closing out on both ends. I feel alone among all these people around me. Yeah, they know they don't belong where they are anymore. They're realizing that. Um, and they're getting betrayed where they are. So their life has been going down the tubes where they are. I'm broken inside. They are, but it's all inside. Like I said, they're... They're really not speaking about it. They're hang they're holding on to it until they get their money situation figured out. And uh and then they're gonna spring for a divorce. I can't listen to music right now because I hear you through the songs. The last person this the last person, sorry. The last thing this person wants to show is emotions. Because they kind of want to surprise this karmic now with the divorce. So they're very, um, they're not showing their emotions right now. They, they're very emotionless. And that's why the karmics are like, what is going on? I started having insomnia since we last spoke. I'm ready to be in a serious, committed rela relationship with you. Yeah, this person wants to commit to you now. They do. They want you now, but it, it took them a lot. Um, it took a lot to get them out of this situation. Do you still love me? Yeah, see, you're moving forward, Divine Feminine. They can feel that disconnect, you know. Um, plus two, I feel like this person's been watching you like, like crazy. And they, after all of this time and all of the backstabbing and betrayal that they've done to you in this connection, they don't even know if you feel the same anymore. I mean, this is something that could have been going like ongoing for years, months to years. This is months to years. And I feel like because there's a, a pregnancy involved, a baby involved, it could have been more like years. Take it how it resonates with you, though, okay? But they're wondering if you even have any feelings for them anymore. Because honestly, you're not, you're not in your emotions right now. You're focused. You're focused. Look, this takes a lot of freaking focus. So you're grounded, you're stable, and you're enjoying your life in your singlehood, okay? Um, yeah, and you are not talking to this person. You guys are in no communication, so they don't even know how you feel about them anymore. And that one is up to you, right? 